Welcome VR lovers and SideQuest fans. My name is Tony and today we're going to look at Dynamic Digital Human. But before we go any further, just a reminder to check out my channel. I've got a ton of Oculus Quest content up there. Most recent video being an Oculus Quest news video, which I do every week. The one for 26th of January is up there already. So if you want to be kept up to date with all the Oculus Quest news for the week, make sure you check out the video, like and subscribe. All right. So already I get some LA Noir vibes from this. Are you actually okay? You're not he's, you're not doing anything. His body is quite standard. You're about to do something? I'll wait. Oh you're joking. Okay, it's it's the face joking. that really comes alive. You see all the cool. facial expressions. Look, I'll be here all day. <laughs> well, that's really detailed. Do you fancy an awkward pause? Okay. Let's do an awkward pause. For the quest, that's probably some of the better facial animations, expressions that I've seen. And even better than that, the author says that it's actually low cost to produce this. So how are you finding this virtual reality thing? It's fun, right? I like it. I guess one of the great things about VR is that you can just watch. Like watch me just talking to you. Just sit there. Do nothing. It's one of the luxuries of you being a player and, you know, me being the guy. The realism of the face and the way he tracks you as you move around the room is uh, quite creepy, to be honest. You like jokes? How does Bob Marley like his donuts? We jam in. What's black and white and eats like a zebra? No. What's black and white and eats like a horse? <laughs> zebra. Yeah, you guessed it. That's all I've got. Are you actually going to do something now? Okay, great. Let's do something. I wonder if there's an easy way to scan your own face onto a character like I feel this. Like you and I have become quite close in the last few moments that we've shared between us, and um, you're the only person that I could really tell us to now. And this is getting a bit awkward I now. Like to I keep my distance. <laughs> speak to someone about it. been to my doctor and he uh oh oh you're gonna do something okay no ignore that <laughs> the uh, dialogue's quite funny as well but just uh, thinking about uh, imagine being able to yeah, scan your face on a while. digital character like this and being able to do it easily in game uh this would be a great option for customizing your character can you do this it's like bird noises You know what's really cool about this is, you know, I'm here, but the real version of me, the real Dom, the human version of Dom, is not here. He's somewhere else. You could jump off here right now and go Google me and find out what I'm doing. I'm probably, I don't know, doing the hula dance in Tahiti or skateboarding with some kids. I don't skateboard. I'm rubbish. I, I am rubbish. Last time I did it, I really hurt my ankle. So the facial expressions look great up close as well as from afar. Just the, the body, the ears and the hair need a bit of work in order to match the same quality as the face. So I believe this is the end of the experience. But it's great demo to see what the Quest is actually capable of. Look, it's really cool, like as a little demo experience. Um, I love to see this integrated into games and if it's done, can be done quite easily. You know, Look, being able to personalize your own digi digital characters with your own faces and facial expressions. And seeing it done with other, you know, non-player characters, like uh, it's done in LA Noir, you know, works really well there and has a really good purpose, being able to recognize emotions uh, as well as to make it more realistic. I think this this kind of stuff has a, has a real place. And although it's just a demo, I can see the potential for these kind of things in, in games and other applications. So the author's done a great job here. Uh, definitely worth checking it out. If you want to see some of the best sort of facial animations I've seen uh, on your quest, um, have a look. Have a look. And um, we'll just have a look around the environment here. It looks like a, a tomb. There's a skylight there. See if there's anything hiding around, any Easter eggs. The controls and the experience are quite basic. You use the thumbstick to move around. And the right thumbstick is just a snap turn. I don't think there's anything... Uh, else to it. Uh, what's out here? Looks like, looks like this is empty like abyss. Let's check it out. Maybe this exits the game. 
Should I do it? Should I step off the edge? All right, let's do it. Let's do something. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to exit the game or, or either start falling um, eternally into uh, nothingness, but it looks like I'm just on the outside of the level. So I think that's about it. The uh, author always considers supporting the authors and side quests if you want to see more of this stuff. There's links to that in my description below. Uh, like I said, uh, that's it for me, but check out my channel, check out my videos, and subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with everything Oculus Quest. And I'll see you next time. Oh, oh you're going to do something? Okay. No, ignore that. It's nothing.